Hey there guys and welcome back to Ben 10 Omniverse. In the last episode we uh did something. Oh yeah, we lured malware to the cave with some stolen tech from Dr. Anima in the past, so now we have to lure malware to the exact same location in the future or something. Anyway, since I have all the 50 kills trophies already, I'm bringing out the big guns. Shock Squatch, Blocks, Gravitac, and Forearms. Time to smash some shit up, because this is going to be good. It's weird. The elevator usually goes directly to the control room. How did we end up in the power core? I think I know. Leave it to malware to be fashionably early. Come on, we have to get to the training room as fast as we can. Oh boy, this is going to be bad. So, Malware's already here and he's infesting the whole place. Ah, crap. Bringing his legions of three different types of enemies to fight me again. But luckily, the enemy hordes in this level are a lot easier to deal with because you can just knock them over the edge with any decent attack. Oh, jeez. How can he punch me down? I'm like twice his size. Bull crap. But yeah. Just knock them all over the edge. With uh, some aliens are really good at that, like Grav Attack or Blocks. Uh, probably Forearms as well. Pretty much any big and strong alien will do. Oh, we do get new types of enemies. See the uh, things that look like the other robots, but more humanoid. Well, remember the the first level with those training drones? Well. They're basically the training drones, except to recolor to look like malware. Because he's corrupting the training drones or something. So yay, more recycled enemies. Lovely. But yeah, let's just get a move on. Just keep chucking enemy after enemy at us, as always. Still not exactly sure where the Vredel brothers come in, though. I mean, okay, the robots... I'm not sure what their origin is, but malware is probably making them, like on the fly, and probably teleporting them somewhere to fight me. But where do the Vredel brothers come from? Malware can't make those, as far as I know. So yeah, it's pretty strange. Anyway, come on, Rook, I'm gotta keep going. Oh, I see a grav attack puzzle up ahead. It's a good thing I have Grav Attack in the selection already. Oh, look, now it's also got a Vilgax training drone with the sword. And the laser beams. So... Jeez, I cannot come up with anything to talk about right now. Guess it's a good thing this game's almost over. Oh, nice. One of Grav Attack's new combos that you get once you put them to level 3 is that you can... Uh, I think that's the square square triangle one. Just does two punches and then like it collapses hand together which stuns all enemies nearby. Which I guess is pretty good and you can kind of use it in a similar way to Eye Guy. Oh crap! I hope it's gonna come back down. Yep, okay. Jeez, can you imagine if it didn't come back down? How screwed would I have been in that situation? Oh, jeez. Damn it, Rock. Oh, he's not dead. Yet. Jeez. Just hold still. Oh, and Rook's dead. Okay, you know what? I think I know what this calls for. This calls for Arctiguana. Because anytime anything's going fast, freezing it somehow slows it down. Or just prevents it from moving altogether. And, okay, going up. There we go. Even though that should totally wreck the machinery if you try to force something to move when it's clearly frozen solid. But oh well. Oh, that was another new combo for Grav Attack. Triangle, triangle, square. It's the double ground pound and then like a fist punch that knocks enemies flying. It sends them way back. So yeah, Grav Attack is pretty much the ring out king in this game. And of course, also by far the strongest as far as damage goes, so there's really no reason to use anyone other than Grav Attack at this point in the game. But still, just for the sake of variety, I will try to use a whole bunch of different aliens like Arctiguana. 
Because he's also cheap as hell with his permanent freeze lock. Just punch, punch, freeze until they're dead. Might take a while because Arctic Guan is not the strongest guy out there. But it'll get the job done. See? Works every time. Though I do kind of wonder what what the deal is with that breath. Because he also does this breath attack as a part of his triangle combo, but that doesn't freeze enemies for some reason. Is that a glitch? Is it like a... Oh, really, Rook? An enemy falls over the edge, you grapple him. Yeah, that's a real smart thing to do. Grapple an enemy that's falling off a cliff. Alright, building bridges. Come on, there we go. Rook, does, no, does your stupidity know no bounds? I suppose not. Oh, there we go, off he goes. So he blocks with his stretchy punches and pretty good knockback are also quite good at knocking people off cliffs. There we go, there goes another one. And that's really just the preferred way of dealing with all these endless enemy hordes because sure you can just fight them, but why fight them when you can throw them off a cliff? There we go, goes another one. And you can go away as well. Thank you. Of course, when they just keep spawning new ones, it still ends up taking a little while. No, no, no. There we go. Of course, more building bridges. Might as well use the status blocks. And there we go. This base is pretty damn big, I must say. And also, not a whole lot of variety went into the design. I could have sworn we just crossed one of these walkways. Or maybe that's the one we can see down there. Having kind of a deja vu moment. Jeez, where do they keep coming from? Freaking malware and his freaking endless hordes of enemies. Why would he even need those? He's probably strong enough to do all of his own work. He didn't have legions of minions in the cartoon, that's for sure. All he had was Kyber working for him and another guy, an evil scientist. And that's basically it, just two people. And one dog, technically. Which can transform into giant alien creatures, but still. Oh, those look like prison cells or something. Oh. Figures that malware would hijack those. If they were even prison cells to begin with, I'm not even sure what the layout of this place is. Certainly looks like a weird place to have prison cells. Oh well, Shock Squatch. Time to make your comeback, because I don't think I used him since that boss fight with the weird alien worm thing. Oh, another collectible that's not even remotely hidden. Then again, it's not a collectible, it's just health. Who do I want to upgrade? Well, I'm pretty sure I have almost every alien fully upgraded already, so might as well, might as well not eat blast. Maybe I'll you end up using him in this video, or one of the other couple. Because there's only two episodes remaining after this one. One of which I think is like 10 minutes long, so one's like 15, so it's not that much. About half an hour after this video, more or less. And I'm probably going to just wrap up this game as soon as possible. Because I may or may not be going on vacation next week. Not exactly sure the plans aren't really set in stone. Oh, jeez. That was a nice move. The plans aren't really set in stone just yet. I might not be going. So... Not sure yet, but I might as well just finish this game, just in case. And then the next LP will have to wait until I return, if I do go. If I don't, then I'll just put up the first episode whenever the hell I feel like it. Maybe do a little more Osiris Wrath before that happens, though. I really need to get back on making those, because I've been slacking off on those so much. Then again, those episodes are so long. And... I'm a busy guy, I don't really have a whole bunch of time to make stuff. Nah, that's not really a very good excuse, I just need to stop slacking, more or less. Anyway, keep on going. Do what do we have here? 
Oh great, more wall climbing. That's always fun. Oh, more with fire involved. Oh look, it's tanks or ATVs or whatever the hell they're called. Uh, what do I want to put in? No, I already have grav attack. Uh, I'll take out Arctic Guana for heat blast. See what new moves he gets when he goes level three. All right, got my jump punches. No, that's not a new one. I think. Oh, that's the regular fireball. Oh, that's the new one. Big ass. Oh, that's that's strong as hell. I'm I'm not sure how much I touched those enemies before those fireballs, but damn, I'm impressed. Oh crap. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a one-hit kill like that fire hazard I tried jumping through his heat blast earlier, which was still completely ludicrous. How was heat blast harmed by fire? That's bullcrap. Of course, it's for the sake of gameplay, but still. If all aliens play exactly the same, then what's the point of using any other one? Like, if he if heat blasts immune to fire, then you should switch to him whenever there's, like, fire hazards in your way. Silly gameplay designers, you have no idea how to make a good game. Because, really, this is not a good game. Not by any stretch of the imagination. It's... A passable game, mainly meant for fans of the show, I suppose. And even then, I, I'll admit I'm a, I like this show. It's probably one of the highlights of what's on TV for kids these days. But damn, this game is so tedious. Also, flaming Shoryuken, a little Street Fighter reference in there, nice. I'm not sure if it's actually called the Flaming Shoryuken or not, but that's what I'm going to be calling it. I swear, it totally looks like one of Ken's super moves in like Street Fighter 3, I believe. No, I don't play Street Fighter 3, I just... I'm subscribed to this channel. This guy who plays a whole bunch of fighting games. Because I do like fighting games, I suppose. I'm just not good at them at all. I have no sense of timing for the combos and stuff and complicated button inputs. Which is why I'm only really good at Smash Brothers. And to a certain extent PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, because that's not exactly a hard fighting game either. If you can even really call it a fighting game, it's more of a party fighter. I'm not exactly sure how the sub-genres are defined there, but... I'd say PlayStation All-Stars ain't on the exact same level as, say, Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat or uh, Tekken or whatever. Anyway, another freaking walkway that looks exactly the same with exactly the same prison looking thingamajiggies. Yeah, this level is probably the least imaginative one of the bunch. Another collectible though. Okay, I'll take that I suppose. Three more. So either I missed a couple or there's like three more hidden in this level which I don't really see happening because that would uh, mean that there's like one third almost one third of the total health collectibles is in this level that'd be pretty weird usually they're spread out a little bit better oh well fire punch that's a heat blast is pretty good he's small not really that big of a target oh and that fire is great for pushing him over the edge I didn't even know it was that good at it. He blasts your keeper. Now what if we hear... Oh jeez. Uh, what is... Oh, it's just a pressure switch. I thought it looked like another grav attack puzzle for a moment there, but nope. You just have to kill the enemy so the shield goes away and then get on that and make the elevator go up. But first smash people with a giant Lego monkey or a big living rock thing. That controls gravity. And can do that seismic clap thing like the Incredible Hulk, which is awesome. Now I wonder who'd win in a fight, Gravitac or the Hulk? I know they're probably about the same size. And, uh... Well, the Hulk is probably stronger, but Gravitac's got the gravity powers, so... Oh, saving. Did I upgrade all of the... Yep. 
Okay, that's all the aliens at level 3. So, yeah. If you're a trophy hunter, and you're looking for an easy platinum trophy to get, then this game is also pretty good for that purpose. If you know where all the collectibles are, and you start the game on hard, you can pretty much get the platinum trophy in one run. I had to do two runs because I didn't play the game on hard the first time and I missed a couple collectibles. Uh, I don't remember, I think this is normal difficulty? I'm not sure, I'm not really... What did I set at the beginning of the game or did I, did I cut that out? Because I usually do that to masquerade the fact that I'm usually playing all these games on the easiest difficulty just for the sake of convenience. Though I did, uh, when I played Starhawk the other day, I did... I think I kept it on normal. Because it gave you a trophy for beating the game on normal or something, and not for beating it on easy, and I'm a big trophy whore. So... It wasn't that challenging on normal. Then again, there were like two difficulties that were higher than that, so it's probably pretty hard on those. Anyway... We're almost there yet. There's a cannonball puzzle here, so I'm gonna have to put him back into the active group of four after this, because I don't... I, think I have Shock Squatch, I think Heat Blast, Grav Attack, and Blocks. So... No cannonball there. Though Blocks should be able to do that puzzle as well, because, come on, he can transform himself into anything, so why not into a perfect round Lego ball? Makes no sense, really, when you come to think about it. Uh, I could put Grav Attack out for a bit. Maybe I'll just put him back in right after this puzzle, though. Because he is my go-to guy. Alright, things get moving. Or not. Let's see, this one needs to go like that. And that one. Rook, you're not really helping here. Anyway, that's a wrap. Gotta move on. Did I miss anything here? Just check for collectibles real quick because I still need four to max out everything so I'm gonna remain vigilant and how is that little lever stopping me that's just stupid anyway what have we here a sign of a kitty that's been corrupted by malware really oh well Tediousness is really starting to set in in this game now. I mean, damn. I have rarely played a game that's as tedious as this one. I mean, it's just not good game design. You're supposed to make it so that people don't get bored playing the game. But I guess the people who made this didn't really get the memo. Then again, I doubt they're like a high-profile game developer. I think pretty much all... I'm not sure who made this game, but I believe that all they make are like... Cartoon game adaptations or something. I think they did one for like Generator Rex or Adventure Time or something. And they're probably just as awful as this game. Just die, stupid robots. Oh, I can't wait until this is over and I can start playing a really good game again. Because I do have a couple games planned that are pretty freaking amazing. I mean, hell, I had my, uh, my nephew play the game that I intend to play next yesterday, and he's not really a big fan of good games. Pretty much all he plays is Call of Duty, so he knows bad games. And... He liked it quite a lot. He was wondering, oh, can I play this on Xbox as well? Nope, it's only for PS3, son, so too bad. I have to buy the superior console to play that game. Yes, I just said PS3 superior. You can argue with me all you want, but uh, can't argue with the truth, really. Oh, great, need Wild Mud for this. Alright, gonna put Wild Mud in over cannonball to suppose and then i'll see you guys in the next episode of ben 10 omniverse thanks for watching bye bye